It's 6.32 in the morning, it's Saturday, and it's pouring rain. Nice, good weather. It's a nice truck. I like it. Good job. It is pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about the Patriot because every other Jeep I've ever had has been taller. Like the Wrangler was tall. Yeah. Even the even the Liberty was taller. This little thing's like driving a damn car. There's one. Decent fish. Why no? Trout, hit my Senko, a big Senko. Nice trout too. Well, how about that? That's a decent trout. Quick release. Yeah, it's a nice trout though. That's a good looking rainbow. Oh, sweet bro. Looky there. Looky, looky. That's a beautiful fish, CJ. Oh, yeah. Good fish. That's a real good fish. Nice job. Good catch. Oh, there you go. There you go. Nice. Oh, that's a dandy. That almost looks like a cutty. That's so pretty. Very nice. He'll be alright. 
Ah, dang it. Here I am paying attention to you. That's all right, not your fault. There's one. There's a good one. That's a good one. Nice trout. That is a beauty. Very nice trout. is such a beautiful fish. No, 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 stay. Let's get him back in the water. I'm not sure if it was the color or the presentation or both, but uh, we got that beautiful male trout safely released right back here in the water um, this is what I'm using it's a outcast Shane I'm not sure what color this is it's got a couple little bit of a, a blue flake gray silver um, very translucent uh, like a tan color almost a taupe but uh, that was a, a pound or better on that trout, on that beautiful bow. And it definitely wanted it. Caught one. I caught a dandy. Yeah. Trout. Yeah. Over a pound. Yeah, he was heavy. Any deep holes back here? They just found like less than a foot back there. Back. Yeah, back there for no I'm not feeling that. Well, I did it, and it was not working. <laughs> I threw my rooster tail off. I never did see it hit the water, so I don't know where Oh, it dang. Was. I just had a prey in my line. <laughs> there you go. That's not the one that was... Oh, look how skinny that thing is. Yeah. That's not bad. There we go. Came back for it. Don't know if I can keep a pin. But it came back for it. Gosh almighty, look how pretty these things are. Let me get this. So I'm not dropping it down 15 feet. Wow. Very pretty. That's just a beautiful fish.
seriously. There we go. Oh, dang. Came off. I think that was a little pickerel. That's not. That's a decent fish. Got a good one. Bass, yeah, large. Now that I'm fishing the right thing for him. Nice little bass. Pretty little one. Back we go. Come on, fish. Come on back for that. Pickerel number three. There we go. Pass number two. Right at the top of the mouth. Good stuff. Wow. He really ate that. Goodness gracious. Well, let's show you guys. We're going to get him unstuck. He'll sh he should be just fine. Pretty fish. That's a little bite. Well, plastics, it looks like, is going to be the thing here. Because I tell you what, it's, it's a bit of a grind. And when you start losing jig after jig after jig after jig, yeah, luckily I know a guy. I'll get more of them, but... It was a grind until you figure out what's working, and it should have been a clue. The first bite this morning that I got was a big rainbow trout, big fat rainbow trout on a 5-inch Senko. As a matter of fact, the Senko that I'm throwing right now. And that should have been my clue, because... That's what I'm going to end up catching most of my stuff on today. Now I caught a couple on the Shane Schweitzer stuff. Caught some trout on that, but we've kind of switched tactics and we're, we're going for the bite we can get, basically. And if that's going to be largemouth bass on an overcast day like that, which is probably what we should have been going for in the first place, um, then that's what we're going to do. So, this is, this is a great way to spend the morning, spend the afternoon. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. And you can see we're, we're kind of set up at the mouth of the Warm Fork, feeding into the Spring River. And uh, for those of you that are so inclined to watch Bassmaster Live when they are in tournament mode, it's pretty neat because if you noticed, Takahiro Mori spent his entire weekend set up pretty much on a sandbar on a V, very similar to this. In this type weather, just a couple of states away from us, we're in Arkansas. And, uh, and he did damage, of course he did it on a crankbait and there is just so much junk and thick grass in here that a crankbait unfortunately is not ideal, although if I had a a tiny one 
I could probably do some damage. Good fish! Oh, get out of there. Oh. No! Looks like a hybrid, a cross between a spotted and a largemouth. Man, what a fight! This thing is just pulling the hell out of me. That's a good fish! Football, man. Two plus, for sure. I'd probably say a little over two. That's, uh, that's my best of the day, for sure. That is just a little fatty. I think it's a little girl, too. I think she's pre-spawn. Beautiful fish. Let's get her back in the water. Look at the look at the gold on top of her. Holy cow. She's beautiful. Very nice. Go look at the gold and pink underside. Wow. 